Hello. Today we're uh, running another batch of oil used engine oil. So uh, I made some improvement to to the reformer. Now we've got increased production quite fast, fast and I think uh, good enough for the small home production of the diesel for your own needs. So we've been running just about 20 minutes, this is still for 20 minutes, now we've got quite a sizable amount of oil. some extraction fan the temperature temperature is not correct because uh, probe been used many many times and now it's lying I would say you should add about 30 degrees Celsius on top of what you see so it's about 430 The overview of the reformer. Here's an engine oil. So here you can see production goes on. Here you can see the reflection of the element. It's red hot inside. Some tiny splashes because oil, engine oil sometimes contains a little bit of water. Technically it's a sheet product with all the nasties inside. Uh, with all the nasties mixed with oil, you know, there could be some coolant or water condensation, dirt or whatever. So in this reformer, all this stuff that's not supposed to be in oil, uh, plus some carbon that naturally presented in oil, uh, becomes solid. Because we expose it to very high temperatures, over 400 degrees. And we've got separate trays, you can see the welds. They represent the trays, and each tray got different temperature for a different product. Then it's possible to recombine all the products to get the viscosity of the diesel fuel uh, that would uh, would be the correct one. Here you can see some petrol production. So some gas coming through the bottom and vapor including water vapor as well so technically we can get all the fractions here's our oil bottle I don't know if you can see it's not the transparent so we're pumping our oil from the bottle
now we're running second distillation so we've got our crude distillate and running it for the second time so to make sure that all the particles and tar or whatever that still remain in there is removed uh, everything could be cleaned with some reagents and silica gel or whatever but it's cheaper and more efficient to run it second time and then use some reagents, chemicals to clean it, filter it and use it Okay, we've got a little bit of lighter distillate, just a tiny bit. Here in the bottle is a crude one, like raw distillate. It's not as black as oil, but it still contains a lot of particles and everything like ash everything is dissolved and some tar in there as well so it's better to convert it into the solid and get as get it out as clean as possible plus it every time you distill it it's more liquid more it's getting thinner and thinner got our temperature as I mentioned before it's not right temperature so at about 30 degrees because uh, thermocouple is not correct this particular one is lying by 30 degrees 35 so I would say it's about 450 degrees right now Here's a pump. You can see the oil. It's our second distillation. We're running the first distillate for the second time. Much faster. Much faster. Much cleaner. element inside, it's red hot it's a light fractions yeah. and again it's very tiny, very small machine, it's a continuous reforming machine continuous reformer oil supplied continuously reformed into different fractions main fraction is the diesel one really small and capable of big quantities